Okay, we're back. Couple <laughs> songs there by uh, Mike Gordon. Okay, we got uh, Connor Kelly is here, a real life superhero. Dun, dun, dun. Right. <laughs> she, she get uh, Lisa doing that. Do it again, Lisa. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Connor, you look like a real live super duper superhero. Like I can't believe it. since you walked through that door, I'm like looking at this guy and I'm like, he looks like a superhero. And then you're telling us that you're going to move a bus. Well, I hope I have superhero powers because I'll need them next weekend. That's right. Yeah, I'm here to talk about, I'm very excited to be here actually to talk about my Pulling for the Hungry event, which happens next week. It's next Saturday, a week from Saturday on October 10th in Young Dundas Square. That's just over here. It's yeah. kind of close to you guys. I got to see and, this. Uh, and yeah, I guess there, there's a lot of excitement around the event, but the, the, the main highlight of the event is me pulling a 28,000 pound school bus through Young and Dundas Square to raise money for the Toronto Foundation for Student Success. Is and Richard Brenson anywhere around when you do this? Because it sounds like one of those stunts. <laughs> yeah, he, you know, I've never seen Richard Branson pull a bus before. I know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Richard Branson could pull a bus. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Richard, if you're watching right now, I challenge yeah. you to come out and pull this bus with me. Excellent. There. What are yeah. you going to be wearing? Uh, what's going to be around you at the time when you're doing this? And then uh, he'll introduce. Well, I'm not going to be wearing a Superman costume, oh, okay. as some people would presume. No cape. No cape. No, okay. I just, I'm going to be wearing good old workout clothes and running shoes. And I'm going to use some good old fashioned strength and technique to, to get the bus moving. Um, oh, wait a second. No, I'm, the more I think about it, I'm starting to think. <laughs> oh, no, he's thinking. With the cape. <laughs> and a superhero costume might be a good idea. I mean, think maybe we should do that. That is total. Them. That's front page think on the Sun, exactly. Toronto Star. That is media <laughs> blitz think right there. Photo op right there. Photo you, you, you free do that. app. Write down. They're, you look they're, like they're a they're superhero. On the front page Holy of the Toronto cow. Sun. Yes. Yeah, maybe. Actually, that that actually probably would work. Maybe maybe I do have to look into. Where would I get a, a, a superhero costume? Hugh, you should know something uh, like that, I, right? I, Closet. You could go to uh, Malabar's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's what if like I like parachuted in in the super superhero yeah, see costume. that's what Richard Branson would do that, right? that's, yeah. that's from that building right there at Dundas Square what is that that Olympic the, it used to be the Olympic Tower or whatever yeah. where he, he did it from there like you, you should you know what you should just come down come <laughs> down on the people should walk I like up to the bus that was, oh my god that movie's so huge walk up to the bus Watch out, ladies. No. And pull. <laughs> Never fear, Connor is here. Con <laughs> better Connor yet, Kelly. Yeah, better yet, it should be one of those floating buses. Then you can uh, drag it all the way down to the lake, hop <laughs> in the bus, and that swim across the lake with it. You know how many kids Catherine's. would love to see that? Kids, if you're watching, parents, if you're watching, bring your kids down to this. They would freak out to see a live person who looks like a superhero move a bus. Yeah, well, the, the thing that's really cool about it and what, what I really liked about doing this event, because it is an awareness campaign, mm -hmm. um, people are not aware of the severity of the problem of child hunger in our city. And that's mm -hmm. really, uh, that was the impetus for me doing something like this. But what was really cool about it to Excellent. me was how symbolic uh, me pulling the bus was of the struggle of feeding the number, the sheer numbers of hungry kids that we have in our schools. Um, because m most people would think that I'm, you know, some kind of big oaf, and uh, typically the guys that do these sorts of things are over six feet tall, uh, over 300 pounds body weight, and I don't know how much you can tell on camera, but I'm not a tall man. I weigh about 190 pounds, so it's a real uh, David versus Goliath story, uh, and I think it's a message of hope. To, to kids that face hunger, poverty, and violence in their schools every day. Did the schools know about this event? Of course the schools know, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I can tell you a little bit more about the Toronto Foundation for Student Success. Okay. Uh, what they do is help kids deal with hunger, issues of poverty, and violence in their schools. And they are, in fact, sort of the arm's length charity of the Toronto District School Board. Okay. So the, the school board actually pays... Uh, for their administration costs, they give them office space so that 100% of the money that they raise actually goes towards the programs that they do in the schools. Now, the biggest thing they do is support 500 breakfast programs in TDSP schools that help feed uh, over 90,000 wow. hungry students each, each, each school day. Wow. 
Um, That's amazing. So how did you come to be uh, aware of this problem and involved in this uh, event? Well, it was kind of a, a serendipity, I guess you would say. It was a strange turn of events. I was invited to speak at a high school presentation for these kids at uh, the Crescent School on Bayview, which is a private high school. So uh, Jonathan, AJ, and Daniel, if you're watching, this was this is where it all came from. And really what I was supposed to do is just be uh, an expert to talk about the importance of nutrition for academic performance. And their whole presentation was about malnourished youth in Toronto. Mm -hmm. And it was actually their presentation that opened my eyes to the, to the severity of the problem and made me want to do something about it. Because mm -hmm. it's what I do every day is educate well, in my case, adults, mm -hmm. about the importance of proper nutrition, about its impact on your quality of life. Um, so I just thought that we needed to do something about these kids and the fact that they weren't getting mm -hmm. the bare fundamentals that they need to be uh, successful in their schooling, in, which translates to them being successful in life later on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's surprising that you bring that up because I was looking in the magazine the other day and there was an article about people who are now starting to make nutritional dr water, nutritional drinks and things t for kids at school. Uh, one of them is like Waterlicious, this new hydrant kind of like nutritional water that okay. kids can start drinking. It's not hit Canada yet. It's still in the U.S. But people are starting to get the... The, the thought in their mind that you can't just go and buy, you know, no frills, uh, discount specials on the walls of uh, chocolate chip cookies and granola bars it has chocolate sprinkles in it, but they'll get a little bit of uh, uh, fiber. So it's really nice yeah. to know that, that you're advocating and working with the organization to do that. I think you are a walking billboard of nutrition. I think you're just <laughs> fantastic. I, I think if kids see you walking into the school, like how you are and like, Oh my God! If I eat better, I could probably look like this guy. I think it's. I, I think you guys should exchange phone numbers. So. Yeah, I would <laughs> definitely <laughs> like to, to be involved with the promotions of what you're doing. Definitely. Yeah, we'd love to have you guys come. Yeah. You can't. You can't like ship the whole uh, operation out there for that day and yeah, bring could. that channel. We could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Capture that yeah. live that, on that, that channel. channel. Dot com live at Pulling for the Hungry. I think yeah. I think that's fantastic. You guys can work that out too. <laughs> Have you ever pulled a bus before, though, Connor? I, to be honest, yes, I have. Okay. I yeah. would think you would want, because you, the last thing you want to do is be at Young and Dundas Square. <laughs> all the pressure's on, and then you know to start. And, Thousands and of people, start. all Everything the TV cameras, waiting. and then, oh, okay. Thanks for coming, everyone. No, I, I, you know, many years, this is going back a few years. I, I was a strength competitor. Okay. I did strongman competitions similar to the ones that you would have seen on TV, the world's strongest man, that type of thing, where we lift cars, stones, logs, logs yeah. uh, big tractor tires, and pull vehicles. We love that. So I have done vehicle pulls before. Uh, the challenge was when we decided to, to do this thing, which is really only about 12 weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I, I think I mentioned it to mm -hmm. you almost first, the last time I came on. And uh, I was just nowhere near in the kind of shape that I needed to be in to do this. Mm -hmm. So it's been kind of really a whirlwind to, to rush to get ready. And I've put on about 16 pounds of lean muscle tissue. Yeah, you look a little bit uh, beefier than, the than last time. Than last time? <laughs> okay, yeah. good. Good, so it's working. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah so, so... You have to really prepare. How do you prepare yeah. yourself mentally for something like this, this kind of challenge? Well, it's, it's not so much of a mental preparation because I'm just generally excited, I'm passionate, I'm energetic, and I know that I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, the biggest thing was to get my body to that point. That was definitely the biggest challenge. Uh, and, and to do that because years ago, well, first of all, when I was competing, I was a lot bigger, if you can picture that. It's about 30 to 40 pounds heavier, so that helps a lot for this type of thing. Uh, for any type of vehicle pull, height is a huge advantage, weight is a huge advantage. And I'll have neither of those advantages in, in this particular case. 